I would love for him to go on record. Um, you know, as I referenced earlier, I'm only sitting here because they have not, not only have they not gone on record, they've denied it and they've tarred my family name and a long history of serving this country and have other congressmen now talking about Russian disinformation. This whole uh, smear on Joe Biden uh, comes from the Kremlin. I held a top secret clearance from the NSA and the DOE. I served this country for four years in one of the most elite environments in the world, Naval Nuclear Power Training Command. And to have a congressman out there speaking about Russian disinformation or Joe Biden at a, uh, at a public debate referencing Russian disinformation when he knows he sat face to face with me, that I was traveled around the world with his son and his brother, to say that and associate that with my name is absolutely disgusting to me. Have you, did you complain about that? I mean, to suggest that you were committing treason or a part of a foreign attack on our democracy, which is how they characterized it. I mean, that, that's such a, a serious and, and I think unfair charge. Did yeah. you bring this up with them? Well, in basic form, you're exactly right. They are publicly accusing me of treason right now, um, treating me like I'm insignificant or the uh, 50 years of history that my family served this country is insignificant. And that's why I'm sitting here having this. I assure you, this is the absolute last place I wanna be right now and the last thing I wanna be doing right now. But I feel like I have a patriotic duty to this country and every American citizen to go on record and to find the facts for them and let them do their own work. Let them decide how they view those facts or not. But for the Biden family to deny these facts and then not only deny them, they could have just said no comment but they didn't say no comment. They then brought in Russian disinformation and basically associated my name with that, which is absolutely disgusting to me. And I had to go on the record. Last weekend, I was in Virginia. Uh, Sally, my sister-in-law passed away at around, I think 6.38, Saturday morning. That's the wife of my brother who spent 28 years serving this country as a Naval flight officer and just retired. So you can imagine me dealing with that and the tragedy of that. When I saw Adam Schiff, go on record talking about Russian disinformation after this email had been posted online by the New York Post. And remember, that email was to me from James Gillier, right? It wasn't, you know, I wasn't blind carboned or CC'd on that. It was to me stating that I was going to be the CEO of this enterprise. Um, I, had, uh, I was at the end of my rope. And so I called Rob Walker and I told him that if that statement isn't retracted, by Adam, or, uh, Congressman Schiff by midnight on Sunday that I was going on record and I was disclosing all the facts to the American government, to the American citizen and the world. I was hoping the Bidens would do the right thing or Schiff would retract his statement, but I could not allow another minute, another hour or day for my family's name to be associated or, or muddied up around Russian disinformation. So even as I sit here today, I would ask the Biden family to come on record and stop using my name or associating it with Russian disinformation. It's absolutely disgusting. So this is Rob Walker, the representative of the Biden family. I believe his wife worked for the Biden family, um, apparently. So you said this to him, I, I won't go public. I just want them to retract the accusation that I'm an instrument of Russian disinformation. What did he say? That's correct. Um, Rob is under a tremendous amount of stress. Right. Uh, obviously, he's a wife and a, and, and a child. And he uh, said, L -l listen, let me make some calls. Let me call George, who's Hunter Biden's lawyer, and, and see what I can do. But he sort of presented it as if that's going to be impossible for me to get done. And, um, you know, I'm not naive. I know that's not impossible. To do. That's a single phone call from Joe Biden to Adam Schiff saying, basically go on record and retract your statement. You got over your skis. And uh, when I, you know, I was up late that night and when the statement wasn't retracted, come Monday morning, I was ready to go on record. And what, how that record was, I was willing to go in front of any senator, any congressman, the Department of Justice, the FBI, or sit here with you, Tucker, and basically provide the facts to the American people and let them make their decision. This isn't a political focus of mine. People were accusing my family of treason um, after I served this country and defended this country.